Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk about the five mistakes that beginners make when getting into hydrographics. Uh, we get a lot of phone calls, a lot of tech support, emails, things like that all the time, uh, trying to help everybody out. And so we've pretty much compiled a list of the top five things that uh, questions or concerns or problems that a lot of people have and so we figured we'd go ahead and shoot a video of it uh, show you guys a few quick things on what not to do whenever you're first getting started so hopefully this will help you out in the long run and get everything going a lot quicker so you can get to hydrographics or get to hydro dipping and getting everything set up the way that it needs to be so with that being said let's get started so number one, laying the film upside down on the water. Um, so it's a very misconception that um, a lot of people are like, oh, it's the shiny side up um, or it's the shiny side down. And in reality, there's not a shiny side up or a shiny side down. There's never a dull side up, never a dull side down. Uh, every film is made completely different. Um, so the way that it's made and the glossiness or the dull sheen that you get from the actual film itself whenever you receive it, it will be different. And so from different manufacturers, from different ways of printing, things like that, it's all gonna be different. The only way to test it 100% is to get your fingers wet like you've seen on other videos that we've done and test it. The sticky side that sticks to your finger goes down on the water so let's kind of show you guys that real quick so we've got our film here and we have pretty much on this one this one is actually dull on both sides uh, you've a little bit more shiny on this side than this side but it doesn't really matter and so um, on this right here we'll take and test it just like normal we'll just get our fingers wet like that and then we'll hold it and then the side that sticks to our finger, which is going to be right there. So that side right there is going to go down on the water. So in this case, this one is going to be the dull side down on the water. But again, every one of them is gonna be different. So you can't go off of dull, you can't go off of shiny. You have to go off of sticking your fingers in the water, testing the film, making sure. Very quick, very simple something like that hold it a couple of seconds you're good to go so hopefully that will give you an idea on testing the film and making sure that you lay the film down in the water the correct way the first time and you don't ruin a very large piece all right so number two not painting the part um, we can't stress this enough you have to paint the part before you dip it we get tons of phone calls all the time. People are like, hey, I've already got this, uh, you know, this red bike. Can I just take the fairings off and just dip it and get red carbon fiber? Um, it sounds like it's a great idea. And I, I really wish it would work because it would make my life a whole lot easier. But at the end of the day, it's just not going to work. Uh, the hydrographics does not stick to the already painted parts that have been already clear coated. Um, so therefore, you're not going to get a good dip. And literally, if you tried it, you're gonna dip it, pull it right back up, and it's going to slide right off of the part, and nothing's gonna stick hardly at all. You might get something like a little speck here and a little speck there, maybe by happens chance, but more or less, it's just not gonna work. Uh, the only way to really do that, and we've done it hundreds of times, is to literally take it, sand it down, repaint it with the same red even though it's already red but you have to repaint it with the same red and then dip it and then clear coat over the top of it so definitely don't make that mistake um, it's not going to work i can guarantee you so don't ask me how i know that but i can guarantee you that i know that all right so number three over activating and under activating um, I know uh, we've already done a couple of videos on spraying the activator and the differences on over activating and under activating and um, uh, you know there's definitely a technique and an art to this um, 
uh, as you've seen in some of my videos I've even done it to where we've had mistakes and the film didn't act right because the activator was uh, applied uh, incorrectly so of course it didn't dip or something like that happened and so um, you know getting that activator sprayed correctly is definitely going to be critical in making sure that the dip wraps around the part as well as the dip sticks to the part. So definitely want to make sure that you get everything um, correctly activated. So the one thing that I will say is that we do have this nice little um, uh, little sheet. It's a, like a little magnet that we've made and uh, it actually helps really well for like a quick reference guide. So hopefully that'll really help you guys out. But that's definitely something that you got to make sure whenever you're getting into the hydrographics is getting that activator dialed in correctly. All right, so now on to number four. So number four is going to be containing the film. Um, you know, the one thing about the hydrographics is, is that it's really cool. It stretches around a lot of different objects, but the other thing that's bad about the hydrographics is that if you don't contain it, then of course it just stretches like crazy before you even dip it. So you got to make sure that you contain that film. A lot of the times whenever I'm doing the, um, the videos that we do, you'll see me tape maybe two edges, sometimes four, most of the time, uh, it's either two or nothing. And so the biggest thing is, is, uh, you know, if you don't tape, your film, that's still fine, but you gotta make sure you have a good divider system. And so you've seen on my tanks that, that we have, we have a really good divider system set up so we can really contain the film and get different sizes, different you know areas, and then we know that everything is contained. So having that um, really contained in really good does help out a lot because of course then whenever you have it all contained, you don't have a already stretched pattern before you go to dip it. So you definitely wanna to try to make sure that you contain the film as much as possible. If you don't have a good divider system, usually using tape is gonna be your best bet because then you can make your own divider and then you don't have to have something set up like what we do right here. So either way, definitely wanna contain the film because it's going to go everywhere if you, uh, if you don't have that. So definitely want to make sure of that. All right, so number five on the mistakes that uh, new people will make when getting into the hydrographics is going to be that it's easy. Um, you know, I know that whenever, whenever I'm dipping and everything like that, it literally looks so easy. Like you just spray it on there, you dip it, and everything is good to go. Um, that's not always the case, and of course, as you've probably seen, it always looks easier than doing it in person. Um, and so, uh, you know, I've been doing this for uh, over 10 years now, um, and so I've had a lot of experience, a lot of practice. Of course, we do this every day for a living. This is my main job. So, um, for us, it's no big deal for me to come out here, dip something, and make it look easy. And so, uh, just like any other tradesman, uh, electricians or plumbers or anything like that, you know, you get somebody as experienced as that, they can make something look super easy when somebody that's brand new tries it, um, it just, it's, it, it's definitely a lot harder for them. And so, uh, you know, the hydrographics is pretty complicated. Uh, starting out but then once you start to get an idea of how it's done how it's uh, how everything needs to go together um, it starts to get a lot easier uh, the biggest thing that I think a lot of people have is is the misconception on the prep work prep work is a big key the dipping is only like probably one eighth of the entire process because you still have all of your prep work all of your sanding and your priming and your painting and your clear coating and then touch-ups and then if you add candies and pearls and all that stuff and then not to mention afterwards your buffing and polishing and all of that stuff so it could get really extravagant really quick and knowing how to do all of those things you definitely want to make sure that you know you know how to do those before you really get into this because this is something that um, it's a very unique custom field and so um, it's definitely not always as easy as you take a part you just dip it in there and then you hand it right back to the customer because trust me, if that was the case, I would be making a lot more money on it than what I am right now. But, uh, you know, that's the thing is that 
Hydrographics, really cool. It's a really great process to use, but it's definitely not as easy as sometimes that I make it look or other people make it look. So uh, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Um, I know we always do on making everything. If you have any questions or comments, definitely leave them below. We'd love to hear from you on anything hydrographics related. Uh, also too, if you got any other things on tips for newbies or uh, tips for people that are just starting out in the hydrographics, let me know uh, what you think on it. And uh, also, if you haven't already, definitely hit the subscribe button. I'd love to have you subscribe to our weekly tips and tricks. And also, if you like the video, definitely give me a big thumbs up. Love to have that as well. I'm Brian from Liquid Concepts, and this is how we customize your world. We'll see you guys next time.